because I couldn't narrow it down once again, I have 23 summer fragrances to share with you guys today. Hello my gorgeous ones, welcome to Alicia Budget Beauty. My name is Alicia, here on my channel, I love all things affordable fashion, beauty, and fragrance. I do hauls, tutorials, reviews, all sorts of fun stuff. So if that sounds good to you, please subscribe, stick around, be a friend. All right, you guys, <laughs> I'm laughing at myself because I'm like, am I doing summer fragrances or 80s fragrances over here? Um, this is what I'm working with today. I've been filming like crazy. I'm kind of mix and matching like other things that I was wearing in other videos. I didn't want to wear the exact same thing. So I just was like, let me add some accessories. And this is what I came up with. I kind of look like, um, you know, like a neon tank, like a, like an aquarium or something. So I feel like it goes. All right. And then I threw on some sunglasses cause we're doing summer fragrances today. So let's just roll with it. Um, okay, today is very exciting for me. This is my first collaboration with Cara, also known as Beauty in the Frizz, and then also Frizz in Fragrance. So she, I asked her to do this video with me because she is a fragrance lover as well, and she recently started a second channel. So her original one is Beauty in the Frizz, and then she started a second one, and that one is Frizz in Fragrance. And I really wanted to try to help her maybe get some more people, the fragrance people that have found me maybe over to her channel. And I admire that she started a second one. I've thought about that myself, kind of scratched that idea for me. I'm just going to go with putting all mine together in one channel. I can't even fathom starting a whole nother YouTube channel. So I think that's awesome that she did. And because she loves fragrance so much, I was like, Hey, this would be a fun collab. So you guys be sure and go over to both of her channels. I'll have them linked in the description. And on one, you'll get lots of beauty content. She does a lot of uh, new makeup release videos and gives honest opinions, which I always appreciate. And then go follow her frizz and fragrance where she's gonna give you all of her fragrance knowledge as well as her summer fragrances. Also, I don't know that she has 23 because I'm always doing the most and the extra and the too much, but I'm going to go ahead and get into this. So this won't be an hour long. All right. I'm going to start with one that I doubt very many of you have heard of. It's kind of random, but this is Mandarin Duck, um, the Duckers Freedom Land. So I heard about this from Sebastian, the perfume guy. If you don't know him, he's like, pretty much the guru of fragrance. And I saw one of his videos last year or sometime where he was doing really cheap, I think, um, summer fragrances. And he had this one on there. And the look at the bottle is what sold me. I just thought it was so fun and unique. And this is one of those kind of obscure ones. You can find it resell sites. I think I got mine off Fragrance X, I wanna say, for really cheap, like 20 bucks. But Basically how he described this is exactly what it is. This is like fruit punch. That's all that this is. It is a fruit medley, a just cornucopia of fruits. It smells like Hawaiian punch. If you want to smell like Hawaiian punch and that's all that you want, you just want something fun, something easy, something kind of young and extremely sweet and fruity like Hawaiian punch, this one's for you. All right, now we're going to talk about my love. My signature scent, the fragrance that got me in to loving fragrance in a different way than is what your typical person that says, oh yeah, I like fragrance and all they try are just things from like Sephora and Ulta. Like, so this is what changed everything for me. This is bond number nine Hamptons. This is probably my fourth bottle in my life. And I first got this in my early twenties. I got it as um, a gift. I was able to pick something out. And I remember we were in a store and I was just so attracted to these star-shaped bottles. This is a New York-based company that all of their, most of their bottles are based off of New York neighborhoods, boroughs. They have some occasional like offshoots I did with like a Texas bottle, but for the most part, it's based on New York. I fell in love with this about, I mean, gosh, now 16, 17 years ago. You guys, the amount of times I've been stopped, run down, shirt pulled, what are you wearing when I wear this? I just can't even count it. It's all that I wore for like years and years and years. And then I started collecting more and more of them to my collection. But this says summer to me so much because 
I mean, it's called the Hamptons. So imagine like summer in the Hamptons. It is fresh. It is bright. It is so delicious. It's very unisex, actually. I used to think it was pretty feminine, but now that I know fragrance better and my nose is more trained, I'm like, this is actually a very unisex fragrance. So it has a little bit of that fresh sort of cologne scent to it, but still very feminine for a woman. It also has some magnolia in here. It has musk, sandalwood, cedar, sage, bergamot, lemon, but it is blended so beautifully. It is just, I, you guys, I love it so, so, so much. I credit all of my fragrance mania basically to this starting at, you know, 16, seven years ago, 16, 17 years ago. Bond number nine Hamptons will always be my love. Okay, next up we have a Coconut Daiquiri by Sphinx. So I just have a travel of it. And I really enjoy this because you first get a really fresh burst of lime in here. Then that coconut comes in as well as a little bit of jasmine, hibiscus, there's amber musk. It's a very musky coconut, but the lime really pervades all of that and kind of stays throughout. So I, I get a little bit more lime in here than I do the coconut. And the muskiness is pretty strong as well, as well as some amber. So it's a little bit warm. It's a little bit of a heavier, not super heavy, but it's just, it's not a light, airy, sugary coconut. It's definitely a musky, ambery, lime coconut. I really do enjoy it. And I think this one would be, this one's fairly unisex as well. Next up, we have Miami Nectar by Ellis Brooklyn. In another video, I raved about this fragrance. It made me so happy because this is a very juicy, bright pineapple coconut, but I get more pineapple than anything, which is awesome because I have quite a few coconut fragrances in my collection, but not a ton of pineapple. And this one is just very juicy, kind of mouth watery, very fresh, aquatic. So it's not, to me, it's not overly sweet. It's just a bright, fresh, easy, poolside, beachy type of fragrance where the pineapple really shines. Okay, next up we have the brand new from brand new one from Sniff. This is Coco Shimmy. I basically collect Sniff at this point. This is my ninth one, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's ninth one. I love this. This makes me really, really happy. Basically, this is a suntan lotion coconut pineapple fragrance with a little bit of, you know, sandalwood in the base, which all Sniff pretty much have this signature sandalwood in it. I always know it's a Sniff fragrance and it's a very specific sandalwood that they have in um, their base. This is not the most la long lasting. I've seen some people complain about that. Sniff in general is not the most long lasting fragrances, but I wish we would kind of get out of that hang up because if I'm spending a hundred, two hundred, three hundred dollars on a fragrance, it better last. If I'm spending these, I think are sixty five, but I always there's always coupons that you can use from like either Ulta or their site as well, especially if you buy one and review it, you can get a fifteen percent off. So I pay like fifty bucks for this. I don't expect it to last all day. Like that just that doesn't make sense to me, that mentality. And it, for me, it lasts a good three hours, four hours if I spray really well. And I think summertime, that's fine. You don't want your fragrances to be really, really heavy in the summer. And I don't mind a refresh, a little splash on. If you like that sort of suntan lotion vibe, but a little bit something extra because a lot of those just have a coconut and this definitely has pineapple that's pretty strong. And it also has that tonka bean and sandalwood that make it just like a little bit more creamy, a little bit more heavy in the base of it. I do recommend it. Okay, next up from Mansara, we have Holidays. And I think this, no, you know what? I think it was Instant Crush that I started hearing about, then Roses Vini, then Holidays that got me start to purchasing Mansara, um, fragrances. So I'm really attracted one to just the simplicity of their bottles. I also love that these are niche that are affordable. You can often get them discount sites anywhere from 60 to a hundred dollars, um, for 120 mil. So that is an awesome deal. So holidays, you have to really love a white tropical flower for this one. 
The Ylang Ylang in here and the white florals, tropical white florals are very, very strong. You also have coconut, you have bergamot, you have a musk in here. This is pretty musky and it's pretty heavy to be honest. This smells like, it smells like summer. It smells like suntan lotion, but it also has a very strong, heavy, creamy vanilla that's kind of wrapped up in that tear flower, the ylang ylang. So I really enjoy this, but it's not a freshy. It's not light, airy, easy, breezy, freshy. This is like a heavy sort of um, suntanny lotion, tropical white florals type of scent. So it's maybe not the safest blind buy, but I personally really enjoy it. Now something totally different as far as being light, easy, breezy, safe blind buy if it sounds good to you, is this one by Michelle Jerlaine, and this is Sugarful Sunshine. Now, Sugarful, the original Sugarful, the pink one, is the one that most people know, if you know these. And it is a pink bottle, it is a sugar bomb. It is like you take a sugar cube and you kind of like set a little fire to it and it crystallizes and it's just sugar, sugar, sugar. I personally love this one. I love their spice one. Um, this one is such a bright, sweet, candied pineapple. This is think pineapple, um, like on a cake when it's that kind of congealed pineapple glaze. Um, that's what this is. It is bright. It is sunny. It is, I mean, it's called sunshine and that's, that's, this is a sunshine fragrance. It is sugary, delicious, crystally candied pineapple. If that sounds good to you, you will love it. Okay. Now we have two by Vacation. So Vacation is a brand that has, they had that uh, whipped cream in a can that's sunscreen go really, really viral, but they've been around for a long time. They have SPF, they have suntan lotions, and then they came out with fragrances to kind of embody what their whole brand is about. So the original vacation is summer in a bottle. This is like your old school. I'm talking like you're a, you're a kid, you're a little kid, and you get sunscreen slathered on you or sprayed on you by your parent, and you're closing your eyes trying not to go blind, and what you smell, that's what this is. But I personally love it so much because it's such a nostalgic scent for me. If you are a summer person, if you are a pool person, you are gonna love this. Just imagine you were on a float, you're at a water park, you're at a pool, splashing all around you. You can smell that sunscreen when it starts to kind of get a little bit sweaty in the sun and it's melting on your face and you can smell it. That's what this is. I love it so much. It also has banana in it that I wish was stronger. It You can smell it when you first spray it. And I love banana in a fragrance, but it's really hard to find good ones. If that stayed all, the, all throughout and if this fragrance lasted longer period, it would be like, at my top, top, tops. But unfortunately, this is a very short-lived fragrance. I'm talking just a few hours and it's gone. Again, I personally don't mind that. I'll just refresh, enjoy it. It's summertime, who cares? I know some people care, so that's why I'm telling you. Now, the other one is After Sun. This is their brand new one, and I love this, you guys. Like, this is such a good fragrance. This is cucumber, white tea, I believe. It's fresh, it is, I mean, it's perfectly named after sun. Like this is after you go into the shade, your sunscreen has worn off, you're just hot, you need something cool, like a nice, freshy, cucumber, uplifting fragrance that's gonna just chill and mellow you out. That's what this is. I, I think it's brilliant, absolutely brilliant that they came out with this as their second fragrance. All right, next up we have Coconut Palm. So this is by Mix Bar. Got this from Target. And this is a dry, sort of driftwoody coconut. It's like the husk of a coconut is what this gives me. This is not a sweet, like pina colada type of coconut fragrance. This is a kind of musky, 
sandalwood, driftwood, coconut. I actually think it is quite beautiful and very wearable for those who, you know, when coconut gets sweet, it's just too much for them, but maybe they like more of that realistic coconut flake, coconut husk, then I would definitely recommend this. Okay, next up we have one that has been a favorite of mine lately. This is Marina by Paris Corner. I got this off of Aroma Concepts. I do have a link and a code with them if you guys wanna save 10% on your order. But you guys, this has been so addicting for me because it is the most fresh, juicy, kind of like oceany spray with like a citrus, fragrance without being sweet. It has orange, grapefruit, lily of the valley, jasmine, peach, musk, and um, black currant. And this is very unisex to me. It actually reminds me of like classic 90s colognes, but it's very wearable for man or a woman. It is, and it's gotten better over time, I think. Um, I've had it for a few months. This is perfect on a really hot day. I wore this this past weekend to my son's baseball tournament. It was 100 degrees all day long. This was perfect and I just kept respraying. It's not the most la long lasting for sure. This is more of a freshy, but it's very, very inexpensive. And it's one that like you and your boyfriend, you and your husband, um, there is a bug crawling on my lens. If you guys see it, maybe I just see it. Get. Okay, it's one that if like you, your husband, your boyfriend take it with you, throw it in a bag, you can both grab it and like spray it on. Both can wear it. It is just so fresh. Um, and again, without being like sweet, even though it's got all these fruits in here, I don't get like juicy fruit. I don't get tropical punch. It's just a, like an ocean breeze with a very like, maybe like unripened fruits going through. I love it. Now this is an absolute favorite of mine and you will see this um, in another video. I'm not sure which is going up first, but this is Imaginary Authors in Love With Everything. It's funny because the day that I filmed this the other day, I felt like what I was wearing really went kind of with the theme of the bottle and then today as well. Um, this is, um, this fragrance is based off of like an imaginary novel that doesn't exist and it's about you know nostalgia um i think 80s and like teenagers and you know like being on the boardwalk and like you've got your roller skates and your boom box and hello i could totally have a boom box <laughs> with this outfit right now but the notes are on the back so it's raspberry citrus pulp coconut palm sugar madame isaac pierre sandalwood tropical punch and stardust so again this is a very tropical punch fragrance as well but unlike the one before this has a lot more going on you do have this um like champagne in here i don't think it's listed on the back but i think it's listed on their site it's very bright and bubbly and then it also has sandalwood that makes it a little bit more i still think this is pretty feminine but i mean an adventurous man could probably wear this and um, because of that sandalwood in here, but it's just, it's an elevated version of, you know, a tropical fruit punch, very fizzy, so fun, makes you feel alive. Okay, this next one was a random blind buy of mine a year ago. This is Tommy Bahama um, St. Bart. So I think this was like $16 and it is a hundred mil, I believe. And I just on a whim saw it and saw that it had a tequila note in it and lime um, and like woody notes, I think driftwood, musk, maybe some cedar. And I was like, oh, tequila, yeah. <laughs> so I bought it and I actually really, really like this. And this is very unisex in my opinion. It's listed as a women's fragrance. I think it's very um, unisex. It kind of reminds me of light blue but I like it better actually. And I think it's probably because of that tequila note in there. It's really, really easy, fresh without being sweet. If you're someone, if you are looking for an affordable fragrance, you don't want really fruity. You don't want like the sun tanny lotion vibes. You're even leery of florals and white florals. This is absolutely what I would recommend to you. Not too sweet, very fresh. Um, very, very easy wear, easy breezy, 
love it. And it's also super, super cheap on places like Fragrance Net. Okay, next up we have a Middle Eastern fragrance that I have absolutely fallen in love with. It is by Latafa, and this is Dubai Portrait. Okay, you guys, this is one that opening spray, I was kind of like, oh, I don't know. But then immediately, immediately after it settled down and dried down, it went from, I don't know, to... I'm in love with this. I cannot stop smelling this. This is one of my favorite Middle Eastern fragrances. It is beautiful. So this is a mango scent and it also has some bright citrus in here. But whereas mango can sometimes almost smell over ripen and a little too syrupy, too sweet or sort of fake. And this is a very sort of green fragrance, even though there's really not green notes listed in here. There is osmanthus, jasmine, there's oud, sandalwood, musk, and amber. It, it smells like a very realistic mango that you just peeled. You've got the sort of tanginess going on here. But then even kind of like the green of like the, the peel of the mango, smells like is in here. It is a very wearable, um, perfumey sort of fragrance with the, with the mango. So it's not just kind of like, oh, it's straight mango. Eh. No, like there's, there's so much going on here that makes this really, really special. It is delicious. Like the mango note in here, I think is one of the best mango notes I've ever smelled in a fragrance. I cannot get enough of this. I highly recommend this. This is a very sophisticated and extremely affordable fragrance. We're talking like you can get this for about 20 bucks, 18 to 20 bucks. You guys highly, highly recommend this. Okay, next up we have Ness Sunkiss Hibiscus. I love this fragrance so much. To me, this is absolutely, again, summer in a bottle, but if summer in the bottle sometimes means like the sunscreeny scent, and then you need something else that says summer in a bottle that means white florals, tropical, still has some coconut in it, but not really sunscreeny, that is this one for me. The frangipani in here, the tuberose, this is white florals done. So, so wearable, so beautiful. Um, whereas some white florals can be a little bit bubble gummy, a little bit kind of heavy and cloying and like really heavy on the creamy side, which sometimes I do like, but this is tropical florals done for the masses in my opinion. You also have some amber in here. So there is a little bit of warmth it is beautiful. I've been to Hawaii. This is what Hawaii smells like to me, is sun-kissed hibiscus. Okay, next up we have Maison Mateen and we have Bain de Midi. So here's what it looks like. This is such a little fun size bottle here. It's a little travel, but it's like a mini version of their actual bottles and I love their bottles. I think they're so cute. That's what first attracted me to this brand. I mean, the little surfboard guys, I was like, uh, I need that. I don't even care what it smells like. I mean, I do, but luckily I really, really enjoy this. And to me, so Mansara Holidays, if you remember, I talked about that one being a very heavy white floral that is not light. Um, you know, that has like the coconut in it. And I said, it's not a safe blind buy. This smells almost identical and they have almost identical notes as well. Um, but this one is a little bit lighter and a little bit fresher, like not quite as heavy and dense with the white florals, even though they're sa the same white florals in here. So, but there is gardenia. I don't think there's gardenia in the holidays, but this does have the ylang, -ylang has the tiara flower. It has coconut, bergamot. It has musk and vanilla. So like almost identical to Mansara holidays. It's just a little bit less dense. So that might be more appealing for some of you. 
And again, I just think the, the bottle is so cute. So again, this is a very tropical florals, white florals. You have to like white florals to like this. Um, creamy flowers, not as dense as Mancera. The coconuts in the background, as well as the vanilla, but I, I really enjoy it. And I just, yeah, bottles get. Yeah. Okay, next up we have one that I think is very unjustly, not just underrated, but nobody talks about it. And it is Abbott Papaya Isla, Isla Isla. So this I blind bought off of Sephora because they had it on sale. Um, and then I, I think I also bought it during the Sephora sale. So I got a really good deal on it. I had tried um, Abbott before their Mojave something. It, it's predominant, it's unisex um, house, but it does lean very masculine. And um, so I was like, you know what though? Like, I'm really interested in trying this. This is all they really list on Sephora anyway, is papaya, um, jungle greens, and ambrox. So, you know, I was like, let me just take a shot. You guys, this is so, so good. It honestly reminds me a little bit of a Born in Roma, like it could be a flanker of Born in Roma. It's very kind of designer in its DNA, but it's tropical and green and with a little bit of that like a juicy papaya in it without being sweet, with smelling pretty expensive, smelling very designer-like, but just really unique and it is staying power this is this is like a beastie fragrance and i do think that this is unisex maybe slightly feminine but it's not sweet it is just it is if you are like okay i want something that smells i'm i just want to stay in kind of like my designer i'm scared to go niche and go too outside of but i want to try something different um something tropical but that's not sweet it's a little bit green um but still very sophisticated and if longevity means something to you i highly 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 recommend this by abbott it is papaya isla isla okay next up we have my favorite by dime beauty um this is malibu night and i have three I believe, but I think I've smelled more by Dime. But this is my favorite. They have Seven Summers, which sounds like that should be in this, and I do own that one, but this is my favorite. So Malibu Night is fruity, fun, girly, um, you know, it has coconut, but it also has some raspberry in here that really sits in the background. It has peony, like a pink rose. It's very fun, very girly. I do like Malibu night. I think like really seals this. Like it, it feels like what you would wear in Malibu night when you just want to go out on a flirty date. Um, has some vanilla in here, musk. I think this is a very easy one. A very easy, would be an easy blind buy for people. It's one that I think is fun too for like, say like girls night. I wore this. I'm just thinking last year I wore this at a friend's birthday party and everyone was grabbing it, spraying it on themselves just on like a hot night. Um, but you still want to just like, I don't know, just be having fun and smell good and a good time. That's what this is for me. The coconut is not real strong in this. I actually get more kind of sweet, floral, fruity without like really pinpointing its coconut. So that is Malibu Night by Dime. Okay, next up we have Comptoir Sud Pacifique Vanille Benet, or you know, vanilla, banana vanilla. And that's basically what this is, is a banana vanilla fragrance. It is a very sweet sort of banana Laffy Taffy type of fragrance, but there's, it's not just straight banana Laffy Taffy, whipped creamy. I know there's orange in here, but it's very, very subtle. The banana stands out more there is white rum in this as well, but that's also pretty subtle. It's not a super boozy fragrance. It's like banana Laffy Taffy with a little something, something. <laughs> okay, like we're just gonna go with that. It's very fun, it's very sweet. The banana in here is not as strong either as I would like it to be. 
Um, and again, it's just really, really hard to find good banana fragrance that doesn't smell too artificial and that the banana does stick around, but it's a beautiful vanilla with basically banana in the background. And um, so it's kind of like your gourmand summer fragrance, maybe like a little too much for super, super hot in the middle of the day. But I think like an evening, you're having a little cocktail out and you got a breeze, this would be beautiful. Okay, you guys, editing me. If you notice, my sunglasses are gone, the hoops are gone. I left three fragrances on the table and forgot to put them in here. So, okay, let me talk about them real quick. We have Coors. This is a Greek skincare brand and I really only ever knew skincare and then I started trying their fragrances out and absolutely love them, you guys. So this is a Gian Bronze. This is a... Cedarat, bergamot, freesia, burnt sugar, frangipani, sand accord, vanilla, and musk. So this is a very warm, musky, sort of salty, white floral that frangipani is very strong in here. It kind of has a little bit of a familiarity with the Mancera Holidays, a little bit like the Maison Matine um, Bain de Midi but it's a little bit warmer um, and the freesia, maybe it's the freesia in here that gives it like a little bit of like a zestiness that the other two don't have. Um, this also doesn't have coconut in it. So that's the difference. Otherwise it smells kind of similar to those. Um, I really, really like this. It's very, very warm on the skin. A little bit heavy, a little bit musky but really, really pretty. And again, if, if you like a white floral fragrance, Tropical would recommend it. The other one that I have was like, I can't not talk about Coconut Sun by Seven Virtues. It's one of my favorite coconut scents. Oh my gosh, it's so dreamy to me. So this has frangipani in it. You're gonna keep hearing that with anything like tropical floral, it's either gonna have tear, frangipani, or tuberose. So again, that frangipani, it has rose. The rose is very, very subtle. I can barely make it out. It has Egyptian, Egyptian jasmine in here. The salt accord is what makes this so delicious to me. It's also coconut water, so it's a little bit of a watery coconut, not like a, a really, really sweet coconut. The vanilla, the vanilla is subtle as well. Oh, this one is just so pretty. To me, this is blended beautifully. This is how you blend some coconut, some salt, and some tropical florals together. Definitely one of my favorite summer fragrances. Okay, we also have Kaylee's Sparkling, Eden Sparkling Lychee. And this kind of surprised me because I'm someone that doesn't love Kaylee as much as everybody else. Like I like my Pistachio Yum, I like my Vanilla 28. Um, I really love this fragrance though. I've grown to love lychee though. It's so bright and tangy and there is that sparkling element to it as well. This has black currant red apple. It's a very tart, juicy, um, fruity fragrance. And it also has violet and rose and jasmine, and I love violet, a little bit sugary, really fun. Um, this one is one that, when I first sprayed it, I was like, oh, it smells good. But then when it dries down, I think this is really magical. Um, I remember I was testing out a lot of fragrances and I was like, wait, there's something I'm smelling out of all of them right now on myself that smells amazing. And it ended up being this. I think it pairs nicely with some others as well. Like any of the coconutty fragrances you could layer on with this. Um, it's just really bright, fun, sweet, and fruity, but in a really sophisticated way. And I love that sparkling element. So yes, this one by Kaylee is a winner. And lastly, I have Penrose. Sun Saint. And I have my friend Kelly to actually um, thank for this. Um, Kelly and I did a collab for our spring fragrances. So if you haven't seen hers or mine, go watch them for spring fragrances because really spring fragrances can go over into summer. Absolutely. But I first heard about this from her that she really enjoyed it. So 
I've seen it at Ulta, but no one ever talks about it other than Kelly. And um, you, it's also kind of like hidden in like the fragrance, you know, sorting. And I love this. So I would highly recommend this for anyone in this, this looking for a fragrance, kind of like the category I gave before where like, like with the um, Coconut Palm by Mix Bar. If you don't like super fruity, you don't like super floral, you want something kind of dry, um, fresh and sunny without all those other things that I talked about, like kind of a little bit woody, but still very summer-like, this is it. This is Lime Yuzu. It has a lip, uh, eucalyptus orange in it. It also has sea salt coconut sandalwood so it's a very kind of dry salty easy relaxing calming like this could almost be uh like an essential oil sort of or like something that's you, know, you put in a diffuser and you're putting in the air during summertime it's a very very relaxing to me. I just, I just imagine laying in a hammock and the sun is hitting you and like the sun is like glinting through the leaves and the sprinklers hitting the wood of the fence. And this is just what I would want to be wearing in that moment, relaxed and enjoying just like summer in the essence of summer. Like this is, this is such a good fragrance. I highly, highly recommend it go try it. Again, not the most long lasting, this one. Um, but if you don't mind that, I do highly recommend this. But you guys, that is it. This is 23. I know that's a lot. I don't know if you're still here. If you are, thank you. Again, be sure and go check out my friend's video, um, Frizz and Fragrance, and also her beauty on the Frizz. I can't wait to see her um, selections. I hope that I learn about some new ones from her, and I thank her for doing this with me. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, have fun shopping, budget shopping, and smelling fabulous. Bye!